prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass to pray for our country, the Philippines. We also pray for each one of us Filipinos, so that our faith in God may be translated to our love and concern for our nation. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who arranged all things according to a wonderful design, Graciously receive the prayers we pour out to you for our country, the Philippines, that through the wisdom of its leaders and the integrity of its citizens, harmony and justice may be assured and lasting prosperity come with peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person with shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? 
Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? But you dishonored the poor. Are not the rich oppressing you? And do they themselves not hold you off to court? Is it not they who blaspheme the noble name that was invoked over you? However, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your words, O Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan! You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us reflect on the question, what has your faith made of you? Naging ano ka na ba dahil sa pananampalataya mo? Ano ba ang naging epekto sa buhay mo ng pananampalataya mo? 
This question implies that faith, authentic faith, should affect our life. Faith is not just knowledge. It is not just something we know. Faith affects our life. It should affect the way we speak, the way we think, and the way we act. Our faith should affect our values, our priorities, our principles in life. Our faith should affect our choices and our decisions. Our faith should even affect our habits, our hobbies, our lifestyle. Our faith should affect our attitude, our relationships with one another. Ang tunay na pananampalataya umeepekto sa buhay. Nakikita sa ating pagsasalita, pag-iisip at paggawa. Nakikita sa ating pamumuhay araw-araw. Kaya ang sukatan ng pananampalataya hindi, lumal hindi yung lumalabas sa bibig. Ang, lu ang sukatan ng tunay na pananampalataya ay yung nakikita sa buhay. Because it could be possible, my dear brothers and sisters, that there, could, there is a dichotomy between the faith professed by our lips and the faith manifested by our life. And this is what we see in Peter in today's Gospel. Peter correctly answered the question of Jesus, Who do you say that I am? And Peter said, You are the Christ. Tama ang kanyang sagot. Tama ang namutawi sa kanyang bibig. But a little bit later, this Peter who professes Christ, Jesus as the Christ, is also called by Jesus as Satan. Why? Because according to Jesus, you are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Kapag pala ang pag-iisip natin ay hindi ayon sa pag-iisip ng Diyos, wala tayong pinagkaiba kay Satanas. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, someone who could directly say and profess Jesus as the Christ could also be Satan at the same time. In our first reading today, this dichotomy between faith and life is also shown by St. James. In addressing the Christians in his community, St. James says, show no partiality. Or in another translation, show no favoritism. At napakaganda ng halimbawa ni Santiago sa kanyang pagsasabing huwag kayong magtatangi ng sino mang tao. Sabi niya, nagtatangi tayo ng tao, meron tayong partiality. Kapag yung mayayaman, maganda ang ating treatment. Pero yung mahihirap, minamaliit natin. Rich people, we treat very well inaasikasong mabuti but we look down and even oppress the poor how could that be faith how could that exist that attitude exist in a christian community kung tunay na christian ang komunidad walang partiality may pagkakapantay-pantay ang pagtingin sa lahat. That is how faith is lived. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we remember the 
martyrdom of Gomburza. 150 years ago today, the three priests, Padre Gomez, Burgos, and Samora, were executed at Bagong Bayan. They were Filipino diocesan priests of the Archdiocese of Manila. In fact, two of them, Padre Burgos and Padre Zamora, were assigned as priests of the Manila Cathedral. And if we go back to our history, our Philippine history, we would remember how these priests, among many other Filipino priests, fought for the secularization of the clergy. Ipinaglalaban nila ang pantay na karapatan ng mga paring Pilipino. And because of that, they were falsely accused and eventually they were executed in 1872. That execution, that martyrdom of these three Filipino priests opened the eyes of many of our countrymen and women. Dahil sa nangyari sa Gomburza noong 1872, ang batang si Jose Rizal, na noon ay 10 years old lamang, ay nagsimula ng magtanong at mag, mag, mamulat ang kanyang kaisipan at ng iba pa nating mga bayani. It could even be said that without the execution of the Gomburza in 1872, there will be no Philippine Revolution 24 years after in 1896. Without 1872, there would not even be the Philippine independence in 1898. But take note, my dear brothers and sisters, the Gomburza are martyrs, not in the church, but in our country. Wala naman sila sa kalendaryo ng simbahan. At hindi natin sila pinagdiriwang bilang mga martir na santo ng ating simbahan. Dahil ang kanilang pag-aalay ng buhay ay para sa bayan. But we must see, to, see, my dear brothers and sisters, that their martyrdom for the nation springs from their faith in God. Dahil sila'y pari, sila'y makadiyos, at yung kanilang pananampalataya sa Diyos ay dumadaloy sa kanilang pagmamahal sa kanilang bayan. Kaya hindi magkahiwalay yung pananampalataya sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa bayan. If there is one thing that we could learn from our brothers, these three martyr priests, it is this, that if we truly believe in God, then we must love our nation. Ang pag-ibig sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa bayan hindi magkahiwalay. Ang pagiging makadiyos at pagiging makabayan ay magkasama at dumadaloy sa isa't isa. Kaya yung makadiyos na walang pakialam sa bayan, dapat nating tanungin kung tunay ang kanilang pananampalataya. Yung makadiyos na hindi nagmamalasakit sa bayan, baka kulang ang pananampalataya. Kaya huwag nating sasabihin na kapag ikaw ay makadiyos, manahimik ka sa mga bagay tungkol sa bayan. Dahil ang pananahimik tungkol sa bay bagay na makabayan ay pagtataksil sa pananampalataya sa Diyos. Ang tunay na makadiyos ay tunay na makabayan. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask ourselves, what has your faith made of you? Sometimes our faith 
make us proud, make us self-righteous, make us judgmental. May pananampalataya, pero ang bilis humusga sa kapwa. May pananampalataya, pero nagmamalinis. May pananampalataya ako, kayo makasalanan. May pananampalataya, pero nagyayabang. We pray that our faith has made us more humble, more generous. May our faith enlighten our minds to make the right choices and the right decisions for ourselves, for our families, and even for our country. Today, Jesus asks us, as he asked Peter, who do you say that I am? Do you have faith? My dear brothers and sisters, do not just say your answer. Show it. Please stand. As we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. For every petition, let us say, Lord, let our lives proclaim you. Lord, let, let our, our lives, lives proclaim you. That the Holy Father may keep the church in the face of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let our, our lives, lives proclaim you. That Christians may follow the footsteps of Christ by accepting their daily crosses in imitation of his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let our, our lives proclaim you. That those who find their crosses heavy and burdensome may find strength and consolation in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let our, our lives proclaim you. That the sick may see in their illness a splinter of the cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let our, our lives proclaim you. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let our, our lives proclaim you. That those who have gone before us in faith may see the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let our, our lives, lives proclaim you. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, Pinanang Awa.